Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how bendable paper straws are made? You might imagine that we simply feed a paper roll into a machine and it magically transforms into bendable paper straws in one seamless process, right? But sorry, it's not like how you think. In reality, there are numerous processes involved in transforming this into this. Grab your popcorn, sit back, and relax, because in this video, I'll walk you through all the processes required to manufacture the paper straws we use every day. To create a bendable paper straw, we must guide a paper roll through seven distinct steps, each requiring a unique machine. The first step in producing bendable paper straws is slitting and rewinding the paper roll. During this process, a large paper roll is loaded into a slitting and rewinding machine, where it is slid into smaller rolls according to the desired thickness and diameter for the straws. Usually, paper straws are made with three layers of paper. For the inner layer, you can use 90 or 120 GSM paper with a width of 10.5 or 11 millimeters. For the middle layer, you can use 90 or 120 GSM paper with a width of 11 millimeters. However, for the outer layer, you have the option to use 60 GSM paper with a width of 12 millimeters. After slitting the paper rolls, these rolls are loaded onto an auto feeder, which is connected to the paper straw making machine. The auto feeder plays a crucial role in ensuring the continuous operation of the machine without interruptions. With the machine, there is another component known as the gluing part, responsible for applying food grade glue to the outer layer paper ribbon. Once loaded onto the paper straw making machine, the paper roll is continuously fed to the machine to produce straight paper straws, which are then cut to the desired length. After the straight paper straws are produced, they are sent directly to a first stage dryer to dry the glue. This drying process enhances the strength of the straws. After the drying process, the straws are loaded into a crimping machine to create the crimping part. Crimping means making a bending portion to bend the straw later. Following the crimping process, the straws proceed to the second and final stage of drying, which further hardens and reinforces them. This marks the final stage in the production of bendable paper straws. The U-shaped packing machine with bevel cutting comes into play after the crimping process. It is responsible for bending the straws, cutting the bevel, and packaging them in strips like this. Following the production process, the bendable paper straws are packed into carton boxes using a carton box packing machine. This machine offers a counting feature, allowing to pack specific quantities whatever you set in the control panel according to your requirements. I understand you might be surprised by the number of machines required to create a seemingly simple paper straw. But don't fret. If you're considering launching a paper straw making business, our team is here to support you every step of the way. We offer assistance with machine demonstrations, project preparation and presentation, 3D layout designing for your factory, spare parts supply, and more services you won't find elsewhere. So, why wait? Feel free to reach out to our customer service team to address any questions or concerns. See you in the next section.